Hello and welcome to Tribe Topper. In this video session, you are going to learn about magnetic field. See, we all know that if there is a magnet lying somewhere and there is some iron object, let's say there's an iron nail somewhere close to it, that iron nail would get attracted and cling to this magnet. But that iron nail has to be somewhere in the vicinity of that magnet. It has to be in some particular region. It's not that a, an iron nail or a magnet is lying far off here. There's another magnet. These two magnets are not going to repel or attract. But I have to bring this magnet closer, closer, closer. And supposedly I bring it here in this region. And there is immediately an attraction and they cling to each other. So that means <clears throat> when the other magnet or magnetic object enters the field of this magnet then the attraction or repulsion will happen so by field we mean a certain region around this magnet where its effect its influence can be experienced by the other magnets like its force of attraction or repulsion can be experienced by the other magnets or magnetic objects so that is limited to certain region so that region we call it as magnetic field so let's do a proper definition so what is magnetism first of all that is basically we are talking about the force that will be exerted by the magnets when they attract or repel each other and what is magnetic field it is this the region around a magnet within which its effect can be experienced is called magnetic field and now how do we figure out the direction of the magnetic field so for that we have magnetic field lines so if we define magnetic field line we would simply say these are imaginary curves that give the strength and direction of a magnetic field so uh, magnetic field lines are capable of telling us that what is the direction of the field and how do we figure that out so basically it is the tangent drawn to the field lines give the direction of the field at that point so if i draw a tangent say here that gives me the direction of the field i draw a tangent here that gives me the direction of the field draw a tangent here so at every point if you draw a tangent that is giving us the direction of the field of the magnetic field and the number of field lines the number of magnetic field lines per unit area gives the strength of the field. So as you can see, near the poles you have crowded lines. That means here the field is strongest on the south pole as well as they are crowded on the north pole. So here also the field is strongest because the number of magnetic field lines per unit area is bigger. So as we keep on moving away from this, uh, these poles, the magnetic field lines move farther apart. And as they keep on moving farther apart, the field strength goes on decreasing. So crowded lines, I would say here, crowded lines, they indicate a strong magnetic field, right? Okay, this so that we could uh, say there are three properties of magnetic field lines so there are three important properties of magnetic field line first that tangent drawn to the field lines gives the direction of the field at that point secondly the number of field lines per unit area gives the strength of the field and very important that no two field lines can ever cross each other because at the intersection point there will be two tangents indicating two directions of the field simultaneously which is impossible so i'm trying to say that if you have a magnet like this and these are the magnetic field lines then you cannot have a line going like this they will never cross each other because at the point of intersection one tangent will be drawn this way one tangent will be drawn this way which indicates two directions of the field at the same time and that is impossible so no two magnetic field lines can intersect each other and that is all in this video session in the next video session you are going to learn about magnetic field due to a current carrying conductor thank you